What's going on? I'm Toby Turner, and this is Cooking with Agent. Whoa! Hello and welcome to episode number 23 of Cooking with Agent. Today we're going to be making a classic fettuccine carbonara. I've got my own little personal spin on this banana today. Some real good stuff. All right, what you're going to need. You need one meaty onion chopped up. Two large eggs. Three cloves of garlic minced. Three quarters of a cup of fresh grated Parmesan cheese. And a little bit extra to sprinkle on top when it's all done. Half a pound of bacon. Some fettuccine. Over here I have a cup of heavy whipping cream and a cup of milk. All right, let's get started. Okay, first thing you want to do is go ahead and uh, cook up your bacon. I'll spare you that part. And while you're cooking your bacon up, it's a good idea to put a pot of water on with a little bit of salt and oil for your fettuccine to cook up. And cook that to the package instructions. Okay, once your bacon gets done, just throw it on a plate with some napkins underneath it. Let it sit aside. I've drained out a lot of the bacon grease. There's only about a tablespoon left in the pan. We're going to pop in our onion. Gonna pop in a half a cup of Chardonnay. Okay, got the wine reduced here. The bacon flavor is infused into the onions. I'm ready for the next part. I'm gonna dump in right here. I got our whipping cream, milk, and the two eggs are beaten here also. I'm gonna slowly pour that in the pan. Put in our garlic, three cloves of garlic minced, and our three quarters of a cup of Parmesan cheese, freshly grated. You always want fresh with this. Makes a big difference having that fresh cheese. Now when you're doing this part right here, you want to have your heat down to about medium low. If you have the heat up too high, it'll break and you'll have chunks in your sauce and you don't want that. You want a nice, rich, creamy sauce. Good time to tip in your bacon. I've already chopped that up into bits. You want to stir that for about two or three minutes. Okay, we're looking pretty good here. How you tell when it's thick enough, stick yourself a nice sized spoon in there. Take it back and wipe it with your finger. And if it stays just like that, that means your thickness is just right. And go ahead and get rid of your whisk because it's not going to help you for the next part. Dump in your pasta. I only cooked half a box. So I'm just going to want to toss this together. Normally you would cook a whole box. Okay, now we're ready to plate Here we are, finished product, my version of fettuccine carbonara with some fresh grated Parmesan cheese on top. Last thing to do, give it the ultimate test here. Mmm. That is so good. Mmm. Love it. Mmm. <laughs> so good. Mm. I'm gonna have to eat this whole thing <laughs> here in a minute. <laughs> so hungry. Thank you for watching episode number 23 of Cooking with Agent, where we made the fettuccine carbonara. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends. You can follow me on Twitter at real, R-E-A-L, A-G-N-T, 96. In the description below, you'll find the recipe and links to all my social networks down there if you would like to follow me on any of them. Thank you for watching. Bye.